Hi humans here from Fast Tech Skills and in this video I'm gonna describe one of the most important things that comes to technology and that's computer programming. I'm gonna actually take you through the most important concepts of uh, computer programming so by the end of this, this video if you have no idea how computers kind of computer coding works so you get a really good idea at the end of this video and code uh, like a code bases like this and source code like this wouldn't be as scary as they are now so I just um, got this uh, image from Google uh, when you look at this image it looks a little bit like intimidating it's not as clear and readable as you want it to be so I'm just gonna take you through four important concepts of computer programming how we actually make computers do things uh, hopefully by the end of this video you would be amazed how simple computer programming could be so I'm just gonna delete that photo for now and uh, we will talk about four different concepts basically if you know these four different concepts then you kind of get how computers work when it comes to computer coding so I'm just gonna uh, actually grab my uh, proper tool here okay we've got the tool uh, so we will have four uh, kind of concepts here I'm gonna separate uh, the space for each of those so we know what we are doing in terms of using the space the first one that we're gonna talk about is step-by-step uh, -step execution so what do we mean by that if I actually go ahead and make the uh, brush a little bit smaller so we have uh, instructions so every single line of code uh, basically could do something when you write it for example a single line of code could uh, print something on the screen so this could print something on screen another single line of code could do a calculation maybe calculate what 2 times 3 is and so on and so forth so every single line of code that you write on the screen um, could mean something could actually order the computer to do something in step-by-step -step execution the machine actually goes through every single line step by step so there the order is starts from the top and uh, executes every single line one after the other and this would be like uh, very simple basic way of executing commands this would be step by step so this is the most common and every single computer program would have such a structure in it the next one is conditional execution and basically the way that works is we would we would have a condition so if the condition exists we would execute uh, a part of the code if not we won't execute that part we would probably execute something else so the condition works something like this we have an input coming in a value and then we evaluate it if the uh, evaluation comes out as true or yes we would go ahead and execute this piece of code here or if it's no then we would execute this other piece of code that we've got for the no condition the best example would be uh, kind of if you press a button on your computer that could be a conditional so when the condition of pressing the button kind of is true then the code specifically for that button executes so in code if you want to write it in the structure we have the kind of the condition at the top so the condition we write it in red then if it's true the green will be executed here if not we can say that the orange will be executed so it's a very very simple way of um, actually building a condition there are more sophisticated structures when it comes to conditionals but uh, you can get the idea so this part would be yes and this part would be no you or you can uh, get rid of the no altogether and have the rest of your program so if the condition exists do something if it doesn't exist do nothing so that could be another way of implementing it or vice versa you can have um, if the condition doesn't exist do something or if it does do nothing so you can uh, arrange it in any way possible you want and this basically is the conditional structure we have a yes or no 
structure. The next one are the loops. And loops are pretty, pretty cool because it allows the computers to do tedious and hard work for us. It even helps us to write more efficient code. So let's see how it works. Let's say that we have some sort of instruction. Actually, let me draw something. Let's say that we have apples. Let's say these are apples here. And we want to put these apples, we want to package them in boxes. So let me go ahead and actually grab another color for the color of the box. Uh, we have a box here and simply the instruction is that uh, open the box. So we open the box and we put the uh, apple in. So if I just change the color, so uh, number one would be open the box. So we open it, we put the apple in and then we close the box. So that'd be like closing the box. So we have three steps. And if we want to do that for thousands of apples, that's a tedious work. So if we want to write it by step-by-step -step kind of instruction, we need to write thousands of lines of code defining that open the box, put the apple in, close the box. That would require uh, as many times that we want to do the process, we need to write lines of code. So I hope that uh, kind of gives you the idea of what the loop is. So if you want to make a way that it's going to automate this process, we can use loops. Basically what loops do is we have some sort of instructions. So the instruction could be as simple as open the box. That would be step number one. Put the apple in, close the box. Then we can repeat this process as many times as we want. So we can have a condition as long as the box or apples exist, do the process, or we can say, do the process 1,000 or 1 million times. Of course, these instructions could be printing a line on the screen, could be do some sort of calculation, whatever it is, loops allow us to basically go ahead and uh, execute a set of instructions as many times as we want, which are very, very efficient and basically shows the true power of computer science and computing at large scale. The next one that we have, it's a bit uh, kind of uh, different than the other ones. Let's say that we have um, a set of instructions and then we want to do something here and this thing that we want to do here has its own instruction, kind of its own box of instruction. Let's say that uh, we have an instruction for packaging apples. We have that separated in a block of code. We call it a set of lines of code uh, kind of targeted to do something. And uh, we want to use that instruction in multiple places. So instead of rewriting the code, then we can put that in a block and we can use, uh, kind of uh, call that block to be executed uh, throughout our code. So let's say that this is the Apple packaging uh, instruction. We separate it in the code, and then we can call that kind of um, a block of code to do the instruction, and then we go ahead and do the next steps. So this is basically functions and uh, kind of separating the code so we can reuse them. It's a very, very important concept in computer programming, and there are more sophisticated models to it. But for now, if there is something that we keep using, if there are a set of instructions that we keep using, then uh, we just separate them in uh, kind of a separate space uh, in our code. And then uh, we put them in a kind of a block sort of thing. There are, uh, very, uh, there are some details to it, but for now, just imagine that you put them in a block and you can call that block to do those tasks anywhere you want throughout your code. So that's basically the last concept. So, step-by-step, -step, conditional, loops, and functions, and or kind of reusability in your code. So hope this video helped you to understand computer programming. If you understand these four concepts, then it's very, very simple to understand how computers work, because you can basically go ahead and break down every software uh, on these uh, constructing modules or parts. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel if you like this explanation. Like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what do you think. And I'll see you in the next videos. Humans here and bye.